and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Golgari walkers. We had a donation to play this deck last week and now we have an update for it. So we got another donation deck for it here. Uh, remember last time we had like the Davriels in there that I thought was pretty interesting to go with our Evolution Sages, but they just didn't perform too well. Um, and so we've removed those and made a few little changes here uh, to hopefully strengthen the deck. But yeah, we have we have a Golgari deck, you know, kind of based around these Evolution Sages here, where we have the Explore creatures that can get counters on them, and of course all of our Planeswalkers that get counters on them. And we just want Evolution Sage to uh, help proliferate every time we hit a land drop. So it's a pretty sweet deck. Had fun with it last time. And yeah, excited to give it a try again. Uh, so there we go. All right, Golgari Walkers. I do remember that like the finale of Eternities in our sideboard were really good uh, when paired with the Nissas. How Nissa could like make a lot of mana. And then we got to finale... Uh, for a bunch. I know that's a, a good combination there. Remember we had fun with that last time. Alright, so yeah, we have like a donation deck day today. We have four different donation decks to play. So we're going to be going through our uh, traditional constructed queue, playing these decks till we have five wins or two losses. KO Ref, happy Monday. I know that not everybody's excited about Mondays. Some people have a case of the Mondays. Awesome, Boot, what was your great news today? Yeah, Magic is coming to Netflix. Yeah, that looks incredible. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Yep, and the London Mulligan rule in effect with Corset 2020. I still have I've never played a game with the London Mulligan rule yet, so I don't I don't I don't want to just say that I'm like think that it's going to be a good move because I I just don't have any information about it really. So I trust that the people that were making the decisions though have a lot of information and they know what they're doing. So I trust it'll be better because of that. So. This looks like a Phoenix deck. I think I'm going to just play the two Wild Growth Walkers. Even though Evolution Sage could be kind of good. Could be good to have on the battlefield for whenever <clears throat> whenever we do play Nyssa. But we'd have to like play a Nyssa and then wait till after we have the Nyssa out, then play a land drop. The Wild Growth Walkers are good bait also for removal spells. So that my... To, uh, to try to keep my Llanowar all from being killed. Yeah. Yeah, Modern with the new Mulligan rule. I am... The thing that I... Basically the thing that I am worried about the new Mulligan rule. And it's not really for Modern... Um, as, as y'all know, I, I just I play standard here every day, so that's really what I'm focused on. But the thing that I'm worried about with the new Mulligan rule is that it will make basically all the games the same kind of thing, or just like a really high percentage of games the same. How you get to look at seven, then look at seven, then look at seven, and it's just like if you're a Phoenix deck, you're just gonna have your turn two Electromancer, or you know you're just gonna basically always have your Llanowar Elf, or you know things like that. That's that's the thing that I'm a little worried about is that we'll just have we will not fail. We'll have just like a, a bunch of Be wary of the ground you walk on. Yeah, you know, it takes out like the the fun part of magic is how you can play just so many games and like your games are just like different all the time, you know? Like you know, it's not just like the the same two decks that are like curving out the same ways all the time. And so that's that's the thing that I I'm a little worried that I will miss is the uniqueness of different games of magic and how navigating different situations you know unique situations is isn't fun and enjoyable and it's a challenge and so that's what i am a little worried about with the london mulligan rule i honestly um 
I honestly, I was hoping for a mulligan rule in between the London mulligan and the mulligan rule that we have now, where... So, on, honestly, I was hoping, like, yeah, basically for a rule just kind of in between the two. So, what I was hoping for was, like, right now, you know, you look at seven. If you don't like it, you look at six, and then you scry one. Cease this aggression. If you don't like that, then you look at five, and you scry one. What I was hoping for a mulligan rule was going to be... Okay, then the London mulligan rule is you look at seven. And then you look at seven and put one back if you don't like that. And then if you don't like that, you look at seven and put two back. So you're always looking at seven. What I was hoping was that it'd be you look at seven. If you don't like it, you look at seven, put one back. So the same through six, but then different for five. Instead of at five cards, you look at seven and put two back. It's kind of like like right now how you always scry one. So you would look at six and you put one back. Yeah, you know, I think that if it's it's basically instead of scry one, you put that that extra one card in your hand and put one card back. Basically, that's that's what I was hoping for. Instead of you know, basically scrying two, you know, but better than scry two on like mold of five. So I was, I was hope that was the rule that I wanted that was kind of in between the two. No, I don't really have any plans to play modern again right now. Um, you know, still enjoying arena a lot, still have uh, good viewers here on arena. Um, so yeah, that's still my focus right now. Harness the elements. Yep, tech and all. So, uh, if if Crackling Drake, you know, if they eat Evolution Sage and eat Electromancer, that's fifteen. They can't really do that. Um, okay, so they're just gonna trade and then chomp. I didn't really have to worry about like the attack back on the ground because I still like with tapping all these things. I still had two creatures there. Hey, Dr. Dents. I think that I will likely enjoy the London Mulligan rule more than the current Mulligan rule, but I'm skeptical to think that it's the best mulligan rule still but we'll see yeah i've been streaming for for uh about two and a half years now luna and and uh yeah just kind of Graveyard. Just wanted to stay home and. Ooh, let's do this first. And just uh, do this. Behold, nature's true power. Full time, you know. Tra yeah, like I was saying, like traveling is traveling is really expensive and it's really time consuming and it's um takes a toll on you and everything and.
traveling every weekend was a is, is a was a tough life, honestly. And yeah, so instead of instead of just doing that that part time, doing that full time now. <clears throat> so Phoenix, man. So we saw the power of. The evolution sages, honestly, that game. Like we, we looked pretty dead whenever our opponent got the phoenix back. Like right after we played Nissa and like attacked our Nissa down to one and everything, and like killed my land and everything. We looked really dead, but then we went double evolution sage, land drop, and just um, keeps making huge creatures. You know, Nissa, Nissa gaining uh, three loyalty a turn. <laughs> by the tick up and the the two evolution sages and plus making a five five so nissa ticking up for three loyalty and making a five five every turn turns out to be a little bit better so we're gonna need another contempt for these phoenixes i kind of feel like that's all i want i could have moment of craving i think no i'd rather just have the cast downs so i think that's all i really want to do ugin seems to be kind of slow though Maybe I want duresses. No, I'll go ahead and play these moment of cravings, and then I guess I'll play fine finality. I mean, they do kill my my stuff a lot. But are there a find or ugin, or one of these other things like one duress? I'm gonna play one duress instead of the fine. Man, no, not not likely. Wing Chung. It's been almost an entire. It's been. It's coming up. It's. I guess it's probably been like nine months since I've played modern at all. Is there 61 cards in the main deck here at this deck? No, there's 60. Did I just make it 61? So yeah, I basically just Wang Chung. I've just just uh, really just turned my focus to standard of building uh, all sorts of new decks and everything in standard and playing all sorts of stuff and just really engrossing myself in this format. And in order to do that, I've basically put modern by the wayside. Our hand is looks pretty good, curve-wise and everything. We don't really have good interaction. Honestly, Golgari Queen probably should have been a card to take out here. I forgot about Golgari. You know, I was just I was more focused on like what cards to bring in, but honestly, like Golgari Queen being duress is probably a little better because it's only going to minus and kill Electromancer, and four mana removal for Electromancer is not very good. Yeah, I've enjoyed Standard basically ever since Guilds of Ravnica, uh, whenever I really started playing it, uh, you know, full-time and, and really diving into Standard since Guilds of Ravnica. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, there we go. We have something for Golgari Queen to do. How about that? How about that? But well, we are going to need more lands. While well, ev uh, Evolution Sage is cool, we do need lands for it. Thanks, Lu Luna. Yeah, and with four different decks every single day uh, that I play, and there's hopefully a deck for basically ev for everybody on there.
Hey, Bronx. Thanks so much for the sub. Thanks for that support there, Bronx. You're the first sub of the day. Go ahead. Beg for mercy. Good. I must uh, accept don't be surprised defeat. if we meet again. No. <laughs> red deck wins for life. Yeah, the red deck's really good in this format. It looks like it's a pretty fun deck to play too, honestly. I know I know the mono red gets a lot of you know, it uh it gets a lot of heat for a better for no better term. Um people say that it's you know, it's a deck for people that don't want to think or you know all that kind of stuff but there seems to be a whole lot of nuance to the deck and a, a lot of you know like there is a lot of card advantage like in the in the red shell and everything and how to use your burn spells and all that kind of stuff and how to sequence it looks like a pretty fun deck to play you you just never have dead cards you always have good mana Flatter yourself. just your your life's pretty good when you're playing mono red it does have so much going for it Hmm. I feel like this is disdainful stroke. I want to play another Jade Light Ranger. Well, guess I should have just gone to attacks first. That card's a huge problem. Power surges through these lands. The land shall conquer you. I am honestly not sure if I'm supposed to be playing the Evolution Sage there or like trying to wait till next turn and so I can play Evolution Sage then immediately get a proliferate trigger. Let us talk of peace. Hey Chief Seth. Gonna see me play mono red aggro sometime? Yeah. I don't know, maybe I will. Mono red's just boring magic to you. <laughs> uh, yes, arena is going to have rotation. Yes, it'll be uh, whenever the fall set comes out in late September or early October. Hey, Jay Gomez said I've been thinking lately that I'd love to see a top list of rares and mythics that are safe and worth to craft. What do you think about making that kind of content? Yeah, I could see doing that. Um, the thing is, is everything changes though. At ro like, you know, you're, you're talking about like, it's, they'll be safe through rotation. Things change so much all the time. Like every time there's a new set, basically. So it's 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 really a, kind of impossible to say what's going to be good after rotation. You know, it's it's hard to say. Like, for example, like uh, before before this past rotation, Carnage Tyrant saw 
like basically zero play after rotation it was suddenly amazing and it was really good through guilds of ravnica standard and then war or sorry then uh, ravnica allegiance was printed and hydra crisis was printed and then <laughs> basically nobody played carnage tyrant anymore because crisis was just better than than carnage tyrant and so like there was like a, a time where you know so like that's i'm just kind of saying that as like saying like here's a mythic that was like a a defining pillar of the format for a little bit but then like now doesn't see any play but how how could you see that happening through rotation it's or like or like a, a difference sorry that wasn't even like after a rotation that was just after another set being printed so it's really hard to say honestly Wild animals I like. Keep this is not Wow, that back. worked. Just like before. It worked. It worked. The dragon wizard is dead. Ha. Well, I they should have cast worse. that with their Niv Mizzet still on the battlefield. Cause they could have drawn another card. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So it So yeah, basically I was saying that that's Pretty difficult to really say. Yeah, Esper does have all the three drops. Yeah, standard used to be yeah filled with four and five drops, but yeah, that's good points there, Matthew. That Esper has all the three drops in the world. He said, like, he said, Narset, Teferi, Disinformation Campaign, Oath of Kaya, Mortify, Prison Realm. Don't forget about Absorb. There's another one. Sculpt of Mind, hey. Dritz. Driz, Drizzits. There we go, Drizzits. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Drizzits. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Let me mark that down. Second sub of the day. Yeah, Grixis three drops. Yeah, they do have War Boss, Thief of Sanity. They do those die to credit credit him, that's true. But then you could go control route and have Narset, uh, disinformation campaign, Bedevil is strong. Hmm. Yeah, rekindling phoenix. Yeah, that that does rotate. I mean, if you are struggling on on like your wild card counts and everything, basically never would never want to recommend crafting a card that's gonna rotate in three months. Um, you know, unless it's unless it's of course part of like a deck that you really want to play, but And that Niv Mizzet just kind of took everything from me. It took my Nissa and my Jade Light and my Evolution Sage. Man, 
<laughs> yeah, the Abzan Angels, like everything's gonna rotate from that, yep. Yeah, but three months is a long time if you're going to be using it that whole time. But uh, like I was just saying before with uh, Carnage Tyrant as like the example, you know, you never know what's going to happen to Standard whenever Corset 2020 comes out. I just realized, Matthew, on your list for green of cards that are going to rotate, you, you have Wild Growth Walkers... Referring to plural, but the singular. I think Elven Clan Caller is supposed to be Elvish Clan Caller, I believe. So I wanted to see if I drew another removal spell here. Before. See if I drew another removal spell like for Fe like so I could save Contempt for Phoenix. So that's why I wanted to untap because Contempt is just such a good answer for the Phoenix. Hey Rex, good afternoon. So playing the Wild Growth Walker, all that does is let my opponent if I if I play the Wild Growth Walker, they get to coil the Wild Growth Walker, beacon bolt the land of War Elf, or you know, either way, and then shock me and then Phoenix comes back. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to play it. A red deck with main deck war boss. I don't love it. I don't know if you, I don't think you really need more threes than Chain Whirler. Too many crackling drakes. All right, maybe I want that find. I don't, yeah, because I don't want Golgari Queen, even though I did kill Sahili there. There you go, 60. I think I might have played 61 the last time. I guess they're playing all those Crackling Drakes and they have Niv-Mizzet. I guess I really should be playing Ugin. All right, going to play Ugin over Moment of Craving. Moment of Craving, of course, is for Electromancer. Hmm. <laughs> 
No, this is a donation. This is a, a fully donated list. I did not build this. Yeah, basically all this deck was like... Basically this whole deck was... Um, Guilds of Ravnica, the Phoenix deck. So they're not going to lose much of rotation. Opt is a really big one, though. That's a huge loss. Yeah, we'll have to see if we have good... Like, the, like some of the best one-mana spells in the format are rotating with Opt and Landwar Elf, those two cards there. Is Shock rotating? Well, I definitely should have just... Hey, Zerf, happy Monday. Yeah. Yep, you can also donate to have a deck built for you. Uh, none of the decks today were ones that people asked me to build them. Yeah, and Spell Pierce. Shock, Spell Pierce, Llanowar Elf, Opt. All those. Bolt. Bolt is rotating too, right? Lightning Bolt. AKA Wizard's Lightning. Yeah, Mono Red's going to lose a lot of things. I don't know. I must start when I can't finish. Please don't barrage me to the questions. All those lovely answers. So I did it, you know, certainly telegraph my turn by having that leaving that wild growth walker on top, which is a little downside to um, a little downside to having the the explore creatures tell you what's up next. And then my opponent knew not to play anything like you know discovery chart, of course, whatever they were going to be doing before that. Hey, Sass boy. Having a good time playing some magic. I will protect the virtue of this world. My elemental friend. Hey, Yud. You've got donation deck day today and basically tomorrow, too. I have three donation decks already written down for the four decks tomorrow, including two decks that I need to make tomorrow so i gotta get on that tomorrow i got two two decks to make i need to make a deck with living twister and mending of dominaria and i also need to make a selesnia elves with radiant destiny so i'll be making those tomorrow no i couldn't i could not get the three damage with the overgrown tomb in there because i couldn't you can't like tap overgrown tomb first and then put counters on it and then go to attacks and then tap it later to get more, you know, like you go through different, different turn phases there. So your, your mana would empty from your mana pool. My Llanowar Elf. 
Why would... Or would they not just do zero and take my overgrown tomb? Wouldn't it just be better just to take... It's the same amount of mana. Wouldn't you just rather have the overgrown tomb than the Lanowar Elf? I don't understand. Wait, Sass boy, I don't understand your question. Do you think that the Mardu Feather is better than Mardu Feather? What's the question? Boros, okay. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really have enough um, experience with either one. I've never been impressed by Boros Feather, but I I do know that it did have that good weekend. You know, it did well at the the Grand Prix this weekend. I like Naya Feather. I like Naya Feather the most, like the Naya Feather deck that um, I made a couple weeks ago and play. That's that's my favorite version of Feather that I've ever played. I was surprised at how well the Boros Feather did this weekend. GG's. All right, started. Off. Starting off the day with a win. Good match too. Good. Good games there. It's a good. It's a good three game match. This looks like this looks like a good hand to Mulligan. Plenty of planeswalkers, though. So that's pretty cool. See, we just mul London mulliganed. Because, like, with the London mulligan, we would have seen this Woodland Cemetery. And, see, I would have put, like, the... I guess I would have put, like, a, a forest back on the bottom instead of... Or the swamp, like one of those instead of the woodland cemeteries. See how see how much better London Mulligan would have been? We would have a woodland cemetery over one of these basics right now. Would have been so much better. Cool, Jay Gomez. Let me know how it goes. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more like it. Don't worry, I got this. Aristocrats is going to lose some mana base stuff, though. That's going to really hurt it. Three color aggro deck really needs the best mana it can possibly have. Through this land, we are all connected. 
corrupted. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, there will be different duels. Yep. Yep. Falset always, always has dual lands. Only time will tell. <laughs> cool. That's good, uh, Delotrius. Saying that you... You've been playing a good amount of Boris Feather, and it's uh, been a good deck for you, doing well. Good to hear. Harness the elements. So it feels like Frilled Mystic over there. I can't really afford my overgrown tomb dying with only having the two black sources. So I need to just use that contempt there. Okay. No, I, I liked that input. Thank you for the input there, Dolores. Uh, Delotrius. Thank you. All right, so we're playing against Bant stuff. Massacre Girl seems just fine against Bant stuff. Try to kill all these different uh, mana creatures. This is a good card, though. This is a good card. Don't have to be worried, of course, about mass ma manipulation. We just don't really have much for it. Like, I could play all these duresses. I don't know if I love them. Is it Evolution Sage that comes out? Maybe I don't actually play Masker Girl. All right, let's try this. I'm trimming one Ugin for an Elder Spell uh, to to lower my curve and everything. And if, you know, if I'm behind, Ugin's like never really that good whenever you're behind, and we're on the draw here. Yeah, I did play the Jeskai Walkers a long time ago. Whenever it was first starting to get popular, I had a viewer that donated to see that deck, and it felt pretty good then. Um, I haven't played it really since, just really like the one time. Um, well, I'm glad there's no more Ugins in the deck, so we know we're not going to draw another Ugin. That's good. Yeah, I think the Jeskai Walker's deck is pretty good. No white man over there.
Hmm. Okay, so I thought that was going to be Frilled Mystic here, and I did not want my Jade Light Ranger to get countered by a Frilled Mystic. So I just went attacking and playing Evolution Sage, as you can tell. Alright, let's see if we draw a land. That'd be really nice. Wow. All right, down goes Hinterland Harbor. And now down goes Nyssa. Yeah. So if I attack them for eight, put them down to six, but I need to just get rid of Nyssa, because Nyssa adds an extra five mana plus makes a three, three. Yeah, it's, it's really, yeah, it's difficult to open the vault. You need 900 points to open the vault. Um, and you get one point for every extra common and, one, and three points for every extra uncommon. So you don't really get extra rares anymore. So it's just, it's like, that's it. So it's, it's really tough to... All right, Chupacabra, come in clutch. Yeah, the ex yeah, sure, sure can JPH. So the explore mechanic uh, that was from Ixalan, where you um, right there, you reveal the top card of your library. As you can see, I'll have it written right there for you. And then, so you just reveal whatever the top card of your library is. If it's a land, you put it into your hand. If it's not a land, if it's any spell, then you put a, a counter on your creature and also choose if you would like to keep that card on top of your library or if you would like to put it into your graveyard. So it's a mechanic that gives you quite a bit of card selection. See, as we explore, reveal this one explores, reveal the top card. Gosh, finality is awesome in this matchup. Well, hmm. Kind of think I should keep this. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. So, J. Lair Ranger gets to explore once and then explore again, so it gets to explore twice. And then, yeah, Wild Growth Walker. Grows every time you explore. And, yep, it's Evolution Sage time. <laughs> it's Super Scry. Basically. I would like a land, please. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nah, we're just going face. Soren turning into another Tithe Taker isn't the worst thing. Uh, do I think this fake card is good or bad? Rainbow P Pool. When it uh, tap to add one mana of. Wait, when it okay? Well, those those would have to those two abilities would have to switch spots, of course. Um, all right, when it enters the battlefield, choose a color, pay one mana, or sacrifice it. Tap to add one mana of the chosen color. Yeah, that's very bad. There's. There's lands right now that are, like, whenever they enter, you pay one or sacrifice, and then they just add five. They add all five colors. Those are like lands in standard. They're like that. Oh, but they they also come into play tapped though. Yeah, so it's it's a guild plaza that doesn't come into play tapped. But then it only adds the mana of one single color. I don't think that's very valuable just having, even though you get to choose the color, I, I don't think that's very valuable. Only being that one color the, the whole game. So they're like Orzhov stuff. Could see like Seraph of the Scales and everything. I think I just want a Contempt and I'm going to take out a Queen. And just roll with this. See if we see more of the deck. Nope, there's no cries or soots. Soot in particular would not be very good with this deck with all the creatures that are lower costed. But Cry the Canarium could be okay. But we have Finale of Eternity. Like that's that's what the deck has. Like in, instead of those things, is Finale of Eternity. Glass of the Guild Pack. That card's cool. So definitely going to have some Seraph of the Scales up in here. You can proliferate so much. Nari Nan! <laughs> I'm here. Huzzah! Wait, this is backwards. <laughs> Shower me in biddies. Thanks so much, Narnin. Cheers. I already have a lot of those. I already do have a lot of those. Alright, time to take some tithes. I need more things to actually put the counters on. So blocking here would make a 2-2. Two because -two, the afterlife creatures are going to be 2-2s two now. I'm not going to use the Contempt on the Tithe Taker, though. I'm going to save it for a Seraph of the Scales. Bantu. That card's sweet. Sack the Glass. <laughs> but thanks there, Narnan. You got the top spot for the week. That's right. It's Monday. Reset. How does this deck deal with Takali Honor Guard? It had to use Contempt. Or Vraska Golgari Queen. So I'm going to do this first. Ugh. I wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to get a spell there, actually, because I wanted the counter on the Branch Walker. Yeah, Takali Guard doesn't exist. <laughs>
Oh, really? So, uh, Matthew says, before Nicol Bolas was printed, which was a dragon flipping into a planeswalker, I had a planeswalker dragon that flipped into a regular dragon with the ultimate. Hmm. So I can tempt Bantu. Bantu just goes back in the deck, comes back in a little bit. Hmm. I wish you all short lives. So if any of these creatures, like if another creature dies, I can find and get a couple creatures back, kind of thing. It would have been really nice if that branch walker was a 3-2 to start with. It would be really big right now. It's not the most fortunate thing that's ever happened to me before. Oh, they just let the Bantu get exiled. They didn't put it back in the deck. <laughs> Interesting. Probably out of basics by now. Actually, we're not out of basics yet, but... They were tapped out the turn before. After just playing Soren, they couldn't cast to settle the wreckage. <laughs> the land seemed like a good draw there. <laughs> yeah, we are we are very dead. I need to draw contempt for the seraph, like that's where it starts. Oh, I'm gonna let my opponent do do its do their thing. Yeah, we're taking lethal in the air. If I kill seraph. Um, they just get two three threes because of the the glass. Like I I can't stop the lethal in the air. Hey, Alexis Bros. All right, so I've seen their deck a little bit more now. So they are an afterlife deck. Massacre Girl is good against afterlife stuff. They want to settle. 
Do we want Finale of Eternity then? Hmm. Let's just go with one one Vivian, one Ugin. Yeah, that looks good. No. Let's go two Vivian. Yeah. Ugin's just not going to really kill too many things. Bronson, no, I, I don't care about Glass of the Guild Pact. I'm not going to, like, have a card for that. I don't I don't really care about that card that much. I don't need to play Bronson to try to destroy that. You just want to deal with, like, the creatures that they have. That's the more important thing. If they don't have creatures, it doesn't matter if they get plus one, plus one or not. Okay, so going, getting rid of Evolution Sage here, because I don't really have any... Uh... Yeah, I want like a Nyssa, or, you know, like something to like really pull ahead. I don't have anything like that. No attacks. Well, I guess somebody does play Takali Honor Guard, as we were talking about earlier. You should fear those born of darkness. Yeah, fair enough. So Finale would let them draw two cards right now. I think I'm just going to pass for a turn. Does let Soren tick up, though. No, nah, we're not going to pass. Soren bringing back Honor Guard's pretty sweet. Ministrant of Obligation. Gonna take forever to get through all this stuff. I need to draw a planeswalker. Take any planeswalker. Any planeswalker. So bad. Definitely need the J light to get a counter on it, that's for sure. We cannot get two lands here. Okay, good, that's a counter.
All right, putting them down to three. So basically getting rid of the Evolution Sage because we know we are not drawing a land the next turn. Hey, what's up, Prugor? Let me remind you to uh. fear those born darkness. Thanks for that sub there. I demand servitude. Uh, I'm just never going to be able to fight through these things. They all have lifelink now. That was a great turn for our opponent. Guess I should have just contempted the, that very first minister of, of obligation. Good draw. <laughs> Time for a drink. Blah. I'm taking lethal in the air. No, I guess it's just eight. No, yeah, no, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, no, it's ten. It's lethal in the air. Yeah, because this thing can block and still be four power. Good game. I like our deck more whenever we draw Planeswalkers. <laughs> Our deck performs better whenever we draw Nyssa and Vivian. Yeah, we we had a, a longer discussion on the London Mulligan already, Prugor. But short version is I haven't played with it yet, so I don't I don't know, but I think we'll just it's just kind of a wait and see. Yeah, at the beginning of this league, we had a a long discussion on it. Our opponent mulled to five. I guess they didn't like their five card hand too much, and like after scry to the bottom, draw a card. You know, they may have kept like a really risky like zero or one lander or something like that. I think that's the point of the London Mulligan rules to keep those kind of games from happening. So, yes, the Llanowar Elf would have been. Like, you know, on turn two, I can play the Llanowar Elf, and then I can definitely play Jade Light on turn three, and we're good. The problem is, is. If they just have a removal spell for my land of elf, then I'm, I'm in trouble. And I'd rather, at this point, I think I'd rather just dig for... Considering we had three draw steps to look for a green source. I thought that was a little risky of, like, needing a turn two land of elf to survive. And instead wanted to dig towards a green source. Meet. Let's tear this place up. So they are also a Golgari deck. Karn's Bastion certainly means a lot of Planeswalkers. So we're just playing like a Golgari Walker Mirror here. We don't have any cards that are like explicitly bad that I want to take out. I kind of just want like that more removal, but... 
I don't know what to take out. I mean, Evolution Sage, I guess. Yeah, I guess it has to be Evolution Sage. That's sad, though. But I, I definitely don't want to take out any of the Planeswalkers that I have, and I don't want to take out the removal, and I don't want to take out the Explore package. So the only other thing that's in the deck is the Evolution Sage. So I guess we're replacing those with some removal spells. All right, fast start for us this time. That was an incredibly good draw. All right, so they are Sultai with Karn's Bastion. Attack. This is annoying. I don't want to just Elder Spell Davriel. All I've left you is pain. Hmm. With your little duel. Certainly consider cast downing the Lanamar Elf. Keep them from drawing two with the Krasis, but I really should just cast down the Krasis. There's a Planeswalker to destroy. Good ultimate Nissa. Man, what a great turn for our opponent. They just had Wild Growth, Jade Light, and now Choops. That was a great turn for them. That's a good card to draw. Fights 
So yeah, I don't think I want... Um... Alright, I didn't want my land to get Chupacabra. So I waited a turn on that. Oh, I should have attacked with the land. Whoops. <laughs> so much for... So much for that smart IQ you just said, if not. Not activating on the land the previous turn. Rise, my elemental friend. Drawing a forest is our worst draw whenever we're about to ultimate. About to ultimate this and put a bunch of forests into play. Enough. The land shall conquer you. Nissa fight. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Really? You do you want to tap my or So many forests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, a, a nice draw ten. I really hope they don't try to minus. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I really hope they don't try to minus on the Woodland Cemetery. Well, I guess it probably says non land permanent anyway. Yeah, so they can't even do it on, on the land anyway. But, you know, it's indestructible also. Do not assume I am fragile. Nature's true power. Hmm. Yeah, might as well just attack them. They get to draw another card next turn. <laughs> we just took ten lands out of the deck. How are we still drawing lands? This Nissa has just been incredible for us. I don't remember the last card that we drew that wasn't a land. I guess it was the... The Vraska, I guess? But it just doesn't matter. The Nissa just makes a 3-3 three, three every turn. Alright, 3-1. and one. Defeated the Golgari Mirror after two pretty bad games. You know, we had two non-games, and then... It's really just all game three, and we got our Nissa out first in game three. That's true. If you only have forest, forest lands, you could get every single land out of your deck with Nissa ult. I think we're going to keep this. We have quite a few green sources in the deck. We have 18 green sources in the deck. 
And so drawing one green source doesn't seem too difficult with 18 green sources. Well, not looking good. We haven't done that whole draw green source thing. Yep. Jeez. Is this Frilled Mystic? Okay. Yep. Uh, sorry, Jay Gomez. Probably had a little rougher luck than we have. Traditional standard is where you play best two out of three, and the other standard, is, like the arena standard is what they call it, is where you just play best of one. game. Yeah, I could have just conceded whenever I only had black cards. It's something I could have done before playing all the green stuff. Alright, so we'll play these Finale of Eternities, the Contempt. Hmm. See, it's tough, because, like, I want Moment of Craving, I want Massacre Girls, like, I, I wouldn't even mind, like, Duresses against, like, the mass manipulations and Nisses and everything, but, you know, we can't just take all the cards out of my deck. Uh, do I... Because this can be really good against Nissa and all the mana creatures and all that kind of stuff. I guess I'm not playing that thing. Take out Golgari Queen. I'm going to shave Evolution Sage and Wild Growth Walker. Also, two cards that rely on other cards. Kind of thing. I don't, well, like, Nyssa, like, if they have Nyssa, we have to kill Nyssa. Ugin can kill Nyssa. Uh, find is really the finality part. You know, if they have, like, if they're with, like, Nyssa, they have, like, a bunch of 3-3s three and everything and all that kind of stuff, like, final and, like, all their mana creatures, finality can just clear up the whole battlefield. Yeah, so that's... That I'm just playing for finality, because, yeah, like, things don't die too much. Uh, probably don't need, like, find as much. forgot about that card. So that card would be a good reason to play... 
Golgari Queen. That's sad. We got rid of two good cards that we liked. Just like our opponent had to, having to get rid of two good cards that I'm sure they liked. So it looks like we're both mana hungry. Love to draw Basic Forest. That would be the best draw I could have right now. Where I can play Evolution Sage and then play Basic Forest and then play Llanowar Elf. That's, like the phases of the moon. that's what I want to do with, like with my turn here. And Wayne. And find. Jay-Z, you've been playing New Ugin in Mono Blue Tron in Modern. It's pretty interesting. Alright, there's Basic Forest. So obviously the Jade Light just gets blocked by their Jade Light. I don't think that's a really good attack for me, where, Your like, next turn, potentially that, you know, like, if I draw a land, that wouldn't be the case. I get two looks at a land next turn, because I can Nissa, tick up, and then, like, even if I don't hit a land, I can Nissa, tick up, branch walker, and try to hit a land that way also. Lucky... Thankfully, that's a lot of blue sources in the graveyard. That's a good sign. Oh gosh, what a great card. Forgot that card. Forgot about that card, man. Wow, what a draw. What a draw. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land fights for us. Can't do it. So the problem with that attack is, worst case scenario, they just take it, and then they entrancing melody my evolution sage, and then kill my Nissa because I'm my, all my creatures would be tapped, and I can't win this game if I don't have Nissa. I mean, just look, I have nothing left. Tamio can just buy back Biogenic Ooze. Tamio is such a great card. Such a great card. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. No, they. No, I think they just hit Melody. I don't. I don't think they knew it was on top. I think you will find my notes help. Like they got Melody because I had this big wild growth walker. Drop. It's not a land.
wise, my elemental friend. I mean, I think my best plan of winning right now is just to ultimate Nyssa. That's what I'm going to be trying to do. The land shall conquer you. Something my evolution sage is mean. I really needed that with the, the ultimate. Past holds our future. Okay. Sending two creatures at Tamiyo and the rest at Nyssa right now. They'd have to block, like all, like, yeah, like they'd all have to block things that are going at. Okay, so they're just going to do this. Alright, we got rid of the island. And we should be getting rid of... Yeah, both their walkers. And the evolution sage. Got rid of basically everything. Perfect. <laughs> there were a lot of lines on the screen there. All right, so there are Biogenicus, Tamio, and Nissa. I feel like I need these Elder Spells. I'm just going to melody all my stuff. Melody's so rude. I just need all these duresses. 
I mean, if they have a Tamiyo out, Duress doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that, Reese up there, Rex. Thank you very much. Yeah, Karn's ba Yeah, having a Karn's Bastion in this kind of deck, honestly, could be pretty sweet. Um, I think I think you could probably fit a Karn's Bastion in here, honestly. I think we could. We'd probably need to play like one Golgari Guildgate. Like, take out one Swamp and one Forest and play one Gilgate and one Karn's Bastion. I think that could work. All right, taking the find out because I have to take out something. I'm bringing in these elder spells um, with having Tamio also, and again trimming on Wild Growth Walker with Wild Growth Walker just getting entrancing melody really easily. Bataro! Thanks for that resub there. For the fifth month there, saying keep on streaming. Thanks, Bataro. Sub number five on the day. Did that notification come up on the screen? Because I, I didn't see the notification for Bataro. I just see it here in chat. This, this may be. I guess we have, we have an elder spell. See if there's a turn three, like Nissa or whatever. We'll still have elder spell. No notification that time. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. No, yeah, Jay Z, it's your deck. Um, I just have it written down as, yeah, like the, the Dread Hordes climb. I just have it written down as donation deck since it's not one that I put together myself. So I just have you labeled there as a donation deck. But yep, gonna, gonna try out your deck. I am the one. I was just gonna make one small change to the sideboard. You had like two Nisses in the sideboard, and I'm gonna just try playing to. Um, yeah. We're going to try playing to uh, Immortal Sun instead. And Zeitgeist also getting in on there. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub yet again, Zeitgeist. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, this card is... Okay, For a lot of people are asking questions about this card. This card is toughness. So to kill Krasis... Krasis is a 4-4. Four, four. To kill Krasis, I would need 6 mana. I would need 4 plus 2 black to kill Krasis. And I do not have that much mana. Hmm. All right, we're 
we're gonna need uh, a lot of help here. Witness the ties that bind us all. The land shall conquer you. Eight. Uh, I'm just dead. Yep. No outs. Nope. Kinda wish I would have just kept the seven that was just six lands. Cause it didn't get to player spells there. So we went three and two. Oh. There you go, move that back over there. Alright, went three and two. Cool. I earned a spot in a mythic qualifier weekend day one event. Cool. It's gonna show there now. Um, anyway, so Golgari Walkers. I think this was better than last time. Honestly, I liked I liked uh, where we we're moving. We we're moving in a good direction. We did a lot better whenever we drew our Nissas and were able to curve into Nissas than whenever we didn't. I kind of feel like we need a man three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We we do have nine Planeswalkers, but it feels like. We kind of need a little bit more than that. I wasn't very happy with Golgari Queen for the most part. Chupacabra was awesome. I kind of would want like third Chupa, like no Golgari Queen and like third Chupacabra and like third Vivian. And maybe like fourth Nissa over the find, you know, like basically just like really load up on Nissas and Vivians, because those two are are awesome. Especially of course Nissa. I mean, it just feels like we should just have four Nissas, because that card's just kind of the best. And you know, we were we were we were definitely a lot of those games, as you can see there, we were running out of gas. So many of those games, and I that's why I think we want more Vivians in here. Because even if Vivian's sticking up and finding a land, that that, that would have been really beneficial sometimes with Evolution Sage or, you know, finding more creatures. Vivian's just kind of awesome. So I kind of even think... I know that's we're not actually gaining any Planeswalkers. We're taking out two Planeswalkers and adding two more, but Vivian's get us more card advantage. Oh, what if we play this Vivian also? If we just had one of those, we have 23 creatures. It's a decent amount of creatures. But that digs pretty quick, digs pretty far, gives us like some flash. Yeah, well, if we have one of those, Liliana could be good. You do have to, you know, you don't want to play like a ton of six drops, but Liliana could be a good six drop. We never really drew the Ugins. But as you saw, like, that very last game, you know, we didn't, uh... Yeah, instant speed Chupacabra. That is kind of nasty. Hey, what's up, Jolner? Keep the stream going. Awesome job. Love your content. Aw, thanks so much, Jolner. So what if we had something like this? I mean, that's just a, a small change. And then, uh, I don't think I really like the Masker Girls. Finale was still good. Masker Girl is something you can get with these Vivians, though. But yeah, I, I do think this deck just needs more Vivians, like, in general. It needs more ways, more good card advantage like that. Like, Vraska is, like, card advantage where you have to sacrifice a land. And that's not really the card advantage that you really want. And then you also just draw a random card where, like, the Vivians actually dig.
yeah, I think this would be pretty good. Um, as far as, so as far as Masker Girl, it kind of feels like we already have a good amount of cards for, like, basically you want Masker Girl against, like, the other mana creature decks. But I feel like, I feel like it's not really better than the cards we're playing. You know, I just don't, like, I think Finale of Eternity and Masker Girl kind of do the same thing, and I don't think you need both of those. So the thing is, is I think this deck could probably be a little better against Mono Red. And so honestly, I think that just maybe having more Brontodons against Mono Red would be a better option than the Masker Girls. I think that's what I would actually just want, is just more Brontodons that can kill Frenzy, be a 3-4. Uh, another option is having, of course, a Ripjaw, because that card's just so good. Um, that is true that if we if we do take out... That is true, that's the only non-premium card. So maybe we shouldn't be playing it. Uh, Jay Honelkin with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support there. So could have a Ribjaw instead of one of the Brontodons. But also just like Brontodon a whole lot. And being able to play all these Brontodons means you can kind of board out like five mana Vivian against Mono Red and you still have ways to kill Frenzy. I think that's important. Like basically you just replace Evolution Sage with Brontodon against Mono Red. Yeah, Brontodon is really great. And then mana base wise, um, I do think we should have, I think we should have a Gilgate and a Karn's Bastion. That does seem pretty sweet. Instead of a forest and a swamp, and instead of one of the other swamps, um, I, I think this deck should have a memorial in it also. Especially when we're playing like Chupacabra and stuff. I think we can we should play like I don't love tap lands, but I think we can we can fit a memorial in here over one of the swamps. Yeah, like this this card just works so well with Nissa making the creatures and everything, and you can get some surprise ultimates. All sorts of crazy things you can do. And like you can just like be able to attack and have this up <clears throat> in combat. And if they make blocks where like proliferating your explore creatures makes your blocks a lot better, you can do it. Or if not, you can just go and play your other things second main. I think that that having these two lands, Memorial of Folly and Karn's Bastion, could just give us a little bit more like some extra value with our, our mana base there. So yeah, so like these are these are some uh you know some changes that I think could could really help for the deck there. And yeah. So uh pretty fun deck to play. I guess I need to change I'll need to change the avatar here from Golgari Walkers here. If I, if we take out Lil Vraska. And there we go. All right. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd really appreciate that. But that's it for Golgari Walkers, and I will see you for another video.